Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have yet another candle review. Aha! Um, I only picked two of these types of candles up this past year in 2015 and I call them the glitter lid candles. I think a lot of people call them glitter lids. Um, they came out with like Italy and London and Paris and all, a few other places. Now I've ended up picking up one London tea and lemon and one Paris. And today I'm going to be reviewing Paris's Joy to the World collection. And uh, the Paris is in the pink champagne scent. Now I have looked high and low for a freaking scent description and I can't find it. So I would imagine it's a fruity champagne kind of smell and think of pink when you see this. So um, out of the whole collection, those are the, the Paris and the London tea because I know I love London tea. And lemon so I knew that was a hands down I'm picking that up but the Paris one I really liked again I think it's probably that time of year where when these candles came out there were a ton of like heady you know rich balsam cedar or uh, real sweet kind of candles like real bakery scent sweeties like uh, the Mary Cookie or something this was a nice change as I do appreciate Bath & Body Works they do bring out a few candles uh, each like December um, that's a little bit of a change for them and it's I like that I like to change it up a little bit so that's the glittery lid that came with it which is actually pretty cool it's very smooth and I know some people apparently turn these into somehow with the zone scratch the table something they I'm sure put around the bottom turn them into coasters although I could think that would be a little slippery to put my glass down on but what do I know um anyway I can't find a descent description um anywhere for this so I just say I really like it with my nose it's fruity, tart, and sweet all at the same time. And pomegranate, I, I would say more of a pomegranate scent than a pink champagne. There's no effervescence. I don't get effervescence at all. And champagne can be pink, clear, slightly off clear. It wouldn't matter to the normally champagne, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that that's how I smell champagne, but I don't drink a lot of champagne. I do have some on New Year's, that kind of thing. But anyway, I have heard, and of course, I'm late to the game of reviewing this, so I have watched many people here on YouTube review this candle. And I pulled some of the, the nice thing about me having so many extra candles, and I like having ones in my stash in my collection for exactly the purpose that I'm doing right now. So, this is Paris's uh, pink champagne from the Joy to the World collection. Oh, before I go any further, let's just say the burn has been flawless. There is absolutely no sitting. Um, the wicks I trim before each burn. And so the wicks have been doing wonderfully. No change in color of the wax. And the throw is like a nine. So before I go any further, I just wanna let you guys know this is an overall great candle. I would absolutely repurchase this again. With that said, and we'll come back to that one. With that said, a lot of people on YouTube are comparing it with a whole bunch of other uh, possibilities of brother sisters with this candle, that what it smelled like. And some of them that were mentioned, were pomegranate prosecco punch, which I have one that's not been burned. Uh, also, sun drenched vineyard and champagne toast. And there was another one, the pink champagne one, which um, I don't think I actually got this year. I know I didn't get this year, and I'm trying to think if I got, I may have gotten it in 12, 2014, but I burnt it up. I got hiccups, of course. Again. So, anyway, going back. So, the, a lot of people were like, hey, it smells like this, it smells like that. Now, it doesn't, this one right here, the Paris Pink Champagne, smells nothing like any of these ones, I don't think. So let's just take a little sniff. Again, pomegranate, sweet. It's a very, as Kent would say, it's very juicy. So I, that's that one. And the Champagne Toast is not the same. It has more of a, a, a fruit note to it like a almost a pear apple pear kind of note to it so it's a little I almost think of it as a little bit lighter the sun drenched sun drenched vineyard smells nothing to actually remind I, I there's only a couple of these candles that I really really loved in this collection this uh wine and or cork and vine collection I only bought I bought one of almost all of them but I bought multiples of a couple different ones that I enjoyed this was what on cold anyways, not one of my favorites. It kind of reminds me of salon, not the perm smell, but some hair care product kind of salon smell. It's not my favorite. I would not even, it's not even close to the 
Paris candle. And lastly, and the one that I think is the closest of the bunch that I have here to compare it to, is the Pomegranate Prosecco Punch. This one has a more tartness to it, but I'd say it's out of the three that I've shown you here, this is the closest that I've come to this one. This one has just a more of a, a tart sharpness to it than this one. So it's got a little more juiciness to it. So yeah, definitely. Um, they're not exact, they're not dupes, they're not exact matches, but of all the three ones that I pulled here, out of the four that I've heard that are this is, could be similar to or repackages, it does say pink champagne, and I know that Bath & Body Works did do a pink champagne candle a while ago. The Prosecco, the Pomegranate Prosecco Punch is the closest one to this one here. So um, overall, this candle, I would absolutely repurchase. And next year, if they come out again with this candle, I'd probably buy multiples. I have this one I'm obviously going to continue to burn. Um, and I have one for my collection, which is kind of cool because I'm just trying to really starting to build up my collection. And I like to be able to pull these candles that, you know, people talk about that they smell, but they're not sure because you don't have one next to them. I'm loving the fact that I can do that. Um, that's my little OCD control freak kind of person that I am. But I really do like that to share with you guys. Um, yeah, so I would absolutely repurchase this one. And if they come out with it, something similar to this again next year, I would buy like probably three or four as long as the burn was okay. But this one, I'd say like, I know Bath & Body Works has been a little bit mm, when it comes to the burn lately with the wicks. This one is so far, I don't want to... jinx myself um but so far this burn has been fantastic and stellar so um yeah you guys that is my review of paris from joy to the world joy to the world collection uh in pink champagne so you guys thank you very much for watching and as always be safe